The Joffrey Ballet is a professional dance company resident in Chicago, Illinois, USA. The company regularly performs both classical ballets, including Romeo and Juliet and The Nutcracker, and modern dance pieces. Many choreographers have worked with the Joffrey including Paul Taylor, Twyla Tharp, George Balanchina, and founders Gerald R. Pino and Robert Joffrey. Founded as a touring company in 1956, it was based in New York City until 1995 when it moved to Chicago. The company's headquarters in Dance Academy are in Joffrey Tower, and it performs its September-May season at the Auditorium Theatre. History in 1956, a time during which most touring companies performed only reduced versions of ballet classics, Robert Joffrey and Gerald Arpino formed a six-dancer ensemble that toured the country in a station wagon pulling a U-Haul trailer, performing original ballets created by Joffrey. While Joffrey stayed in New York City to teach ballet classes and earn money to pay the dancers' salaries, Arpino led the troupe. The ensemble first performed in a major city in Chicago in 1957. The Joffrey Ballet originally settled down in New York City, under the name the Robert Joffrey Theatre Ballet. In 1962 modern choreographer Alvar Naley was invited to make a work for the company. Rebecca Harkness was an important early benefactor and she made international touring possible. But in 1964 she and Joffrey parted ways. Joffrey started again, building up a new company that made its debut in 1965 as the Joffrey Ballet. Following a successful season at the New York City Center in 1966, it was invited to become City Center's resident ballet company with Joffrey as artistic director and Arpino as chief choreographer. Arpino's 1970 rock ballet Trinity was well received. Joffrey revived Kurt Joas's The Green Table in 1967, followed by revivals of Ashton's Facade. In 1973 Joffrey asked Twyla Tharp to create her first commissioned ballet, Juice Coupe. The company continued as City Center Joffrey Ballet until 1977. From 1977, it performed as the Joffrey Ballet, with a second home established in Los Angeles from. In 1995, the company left New York City for Chicago to establish a permanent residence there. The first few years in Chicago were financially arduous for the company, nearly causing it to close several times but audiences later became larger and younger. In 2005 the Joffrey Ballet celebrated its 10th anniversary in Chicago and in 2007 concluded a two-season-long 50th anniversary celebration, including a River to River tour of free outdoor performances across Iowa, sponsored by Hancher Auditorium at the University of Iowa. Popular culture The Joffrey Ballets was the first dance company to perform at the White House at Jacqueline Kennedy's invitation, the first to appear on American television, the first classical dance company to use multimedia, the first to create a ballet set to rock music, the first to appear on the cover of Time magazine, and the first company to have had a major motion picture based on it, Robert Altman's The Company. The Joffrey Ballet appeared in the motion picture Save the Last Dance, when the two protagonists of the story saw the company perform Sea Shadow and Les Presages in Chicago. It was also the subject of Robert Altman's penultimate film, The Company. Malcolm McDowell played the ballet company's artistic director, a character based on Gerald Arpino. The film is composed of stories gathered from the actual dancers, choreographers, and staff of the Joffrey Ballet. Most of the roles are played by actual company members. In the Glee, character Mike Chang is given a scholarship to attend the Joffrey Academy of Dance in Chicago. Reconstructing the Rite of Spring in fall 1987 the Joffrey Ballet premiered a reconstructed version of Igor Stravinsky's seminal ballet The Rite of Spring in the City of Los Angeles. The original ballet debuted in 1913 in Paris, France and was choreographed by Václav Nijinsky. 80% of the original costumes were located and reconstructed for the performance. 
and Hodson and Archer were able to consult with Nijinsky's rehearsal assistant Marie Rambert on the original choreography before her death in 1982. Activities as of 2014, update, the company comprised 40 dancers, performs its regular September-May season at the Auditorium Theatre in Chicago, and engages in several domestic and international tours throughout the year. Its repertoire consists of both classical and contemporary pieces, as well as annual December performances of The Nutcracker. Presented in conjunction with the Chicago Philharmonic, in 2007 Gerald Arpino retired from day-to-day -day operations, becoming artistic director emeritus until his death in 2009. In October 2007 former Joffrey dancer Ashley Wheater, assistant artistic director and ballet master for San Francisco Ballet, became the third artistic director. The Joffrey is located in Joffrey Tower at 10 East Randolph Street in downtown Chicago. The company has an extensive touring schedule, an education program including the Joffrey Academy of Dance, official school of the Joffrey Ballet, community engagement program, and collaborations with other visual and performing arts organizations.